We've got a big reunion over here in California. Miss Kylie Jenner and Jordan Woods were out spotted getting dinner. That is honestly the reunion we've all been waiting for for years. I thought pigs would fly, hell would freeze before these two ever, ever were in the same room together again. The only thing that made me feel like maybe the door was still open was that on an interview Honestly, a few years ago now, I remember Jordan saying how like, you know, messed up everything was. Was it, it the red ended. table talk? I think maybe, but they're like, she was just basically talking about how like she was treated in the whole situation and how it blew up and all this stuff. But then the one thing she would never say a bad word about was Kylie. They were like, what about Kylie? And she just kept saying like, always, like always, like I'll always love her, always. Like she yeah. never said a single bad thing about Kylie. And that made me feel like she intentionally like kept that, keep door, that door, open. door open. Like yeah. she's like, I won't speak a bad word about her because I, I did never want to close the door of having her back in my life. But I agree with you. I didn't, I didn't know if Kylie would ever forgive her. Cause it's one of those things where like Kylie ride or dies for all of her sisters and her entire family. So it's like, if Chloe doesn't fuck with you, she's not going to fuck with you. So Chloe must have forgiven Jordan. It's just such a weird standard. And there's so many different ways you can look at it. For those of you that don't know the story, because it has been a few years. So Jordan Woods and Kylie Jenner were like best, best, best friends. Like inseparable, very similar to how Stassi and Kylie are attached at the hip. And um, at the time, Chloe was with Tristan. Had he cheated before at that point? Or was that like yeah. the first one? No, he had cheated before. Like confirmed? Yeah. Okay, so he had cheated before. However, oh, this might have been the first time he cheated while like she was pregnant. Probably. Or some, something like, I don't remember. He's cheated so many times. But um, it was like they were back together. They were doing really well. Either she was pregnant or like something really messed up. And uh, basically story leaked, a video leaked of Jordan and Tristan being at the same party together and they end up making out. I don't know if anything more happened than that, but I know for a fact that they did kiss. I think Jordan said at the Red Table Talk, she was like, it was literally just like a kiss. Like he came on to me. Like I didn't initiate anything. Which I do believe. 100%. Considering his behavior and like creepy texts he sent to girls. I mean, and like he's a how serial much- chiller, cheater. Yeah, he's a serial cheater. Like we know that he's not a good guy. He's no longer in Chloe's life as far as we know. Like, yeah. Other than just being the baby daddy. But... I just feel like it's hard for me to believe that Jordan is dumb enough to do something like that to any Kardashian for that matter, like, or a Jenner for that matter. Like mm-hmm. once you're in with this family, like you're set for life. Like why would you do anything to jeopardize that? Like, you have to be like really down bad to like jeopardize your friendship with well, the Kardashian. Jenner. Okay. So this is, this is my thought that I always had about Jordan because I, first off, I think it's really messed up that she um, no, for it's messed up of him. Obviously, that's without question. He's he's in the wrong here. He's the yeah, let's preface that before let's the, preface that before we say anything. <laughs> before he's, they come to, he's us. a predator. He's bad. He's like he's completely in the wrong. So like this isn't like oh it's her fault. I it's hundred percent on him. I stand by that. I think that it was wrong of her to obviously be in a situation where she would have any level of intimacy with her best right. friend's older sister, and also like. One of her friends. Like we have to assume that actually no, we know that Jordan was friends with the whole family. It wasn't just yeah. Kylie, because they're all so close. So that was wrong and it was somewhat of a betrayal. However, first off, they're at a party. I don't know if she was drinking. He blatantly like came on to her. She's younger than he is. He is this like professional athlete. He's obviously a good looking guy. And also on top of that, I feel like this doesn't get talked about enough. A lot of people see the, you know, the Jordan Woodses of the world, or the Stassis of the world, anyone like that. And they're like, well, they're just so lucky that they got to grab onto the coattails of, you know, the Kylie Jenners. But people don't consider the fact that, like, that's also kind of hard. Like, um, Sophia Coppola talks about this in the, the Coppola's show where she's like, everyone always says I'm so lucky that Olivia paved this path for me to, like, fame and social media and all this stuff. And she's like, that is true, but, like, do you ever think about how hard it is to constantly be compared to my sister, people utilizing me to get to my sister? So I think for someone like Jordan, yes, like she had it really good and she was in a very good situation, but also like imagine like always being known as Kylie Jenner's friend. It's always about Kylie. It's about the Kardashians, yeah. her being a part of their family. And it's always them, them, them. People are utilizing her to get to them. So I think in this moment, 
she is being approached by someone who is, you know, with a Kardashian and they're giving her attention. And for the first time, it's like, she's being validated. She's being seen as, oh, like I noticed you and like, you know, her whole life probably comparing herself to the Kardashians. I understand how you could have a moment of weakness. Like I do think that she's a human being and she made a mistake and I don't think she deserved to get dragged the way that she did at all. That's a very mature take people were just like both sides people i like jumped that. down this girl's throat like yeah. she was being like bullied for months yeah. about this i mean i feel like she kind of like disappeared off the face of the earth yeah like i haven't really sad. heard anything about her in a very long time mm -hmm. do you think this is the first time that they're reunited or do you think they did that in private first people have like speculated for so long that they've like hung out before and just didn't want it to be broadcasted because they didn't want all of this drama to come back do up. you think she did it behind chloe's back kylie i don't know like people said oh there was one weekend where like kylie was in veil and you know i'm pretty sure jordan was also in veil and people were like were they mm. hanging out i i don't know to be honest i do think that i mean how long has it been like five years since this all happened uh 2019 that, so a, okay it was only 2019 yeah. it took her a while to forgive her so that makes me wonder, like, did it really take four years to forgive her or had they been talking and they just were like ready to let the public know and deal with all like the backlash and That's the drama? That's true. Well, also, I feel like a lot, a lot has happened with Chloe and Tristan since then. So like maybe like now that I feel like Chloe's finally done with Tristan, done with Tristan, like. Well, that's the other thing to consider because. Kylie would never put Chloe in a position to get her more backlash from the media unless right. Chloe was okay with it. So maybe Kylie and Jordan have been friends for a while, but we're like, oh, we don't want to put Chloe through this because th they know that as soon as this news broke out, instantly people would be talking about Tristan Thompson and Jordan and how he's a cheater be come up all over again. So maybe they wanted to wait until like, you know, Ka Coco, uh, Coco. <laughs> Chloe was ready. <laughs> oh, bless you. Do you think that like, would you, if you were Kylie, would you be hesitant to bring her back in your life because you're afraid like she's going to go after your ex now? Or do you think it's kind of like forgive and forget either you let them back in your life and you don't hold a grudge or there's like a sliver of uncertainty. Like they did mm -hmm. it once, could they do it again? I don't know if I'd be worried about her going after my ex or my boyfriend or anything like that because I do think this girl like learned, learned her, her lesson. lesson. I yeah. don't think she is touching any Kardashians, boyfriends or ex-boyfriends or like 10 boyfriends that go for the rest of her life ever. Um, I do think though there is an element of like when trust is broken, can it ever go back to how it was? So I'm not saying Kylie sitting there being like, oh, I, I don't trust her on my boyfriend, but I could see Kylie being like, you know, once that level of trust is broken and you put yourself in a position to lose me as a friend, would I ever trust you the way that I did before? I, I, go, I go back and forth on trust so much, just like through living life. And yeah. I, I just don't know like, I've toyed, I've toyed with like, oh, like you can forgive, but like, it's never going to go back a hundred percent. Yeah. Or like you just forgive and you just don't hold a grudge, but I don't know where my current stance is on Are it. Are you a Taylor Swift's like, you don't have to forgive and you don't have to forget. <laughs> oh, we got hate on that TikTok too. Yeah, I know. Um, actually, no, it was more positive than it wasn't. Yeah. I, I don't know. I think it's a very delicate thing. I do think that, I think I will say once you break my trust, you can get my trust back, but we won't be the same. It won't be the same. We won't be the same. Okay. Yeah. I was actually thinking that like, I wonder if there was a part of both Jordan and Kylie where even if they're friends again, it's like things are different and it's never going to be the same as it was. And we also, we lost all this time together. Like Stormy's grown up now Aww. and we were best friends. We did everything together. And now we don't have, like, we don't know each other the same way. And we lost all that time. And I wonder if that is like a tough pill to swallow, no matter what the situation is. Well, time, time does heal, heal all and you can't yeah. take back time. So I feel like it's one of those things where it's like, just be grateful for the time that you had and the time that you're going to have in the future. It's like either you want them back in your life or you don't. And you can't live thinking like, what if, 